A beloved grandfather gone. A family home in Shelltown swamped by floodwaters. We saw the devastating toll of the January floods when ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen first met the Garcia family in late January. Tonight, eight months later, we follow through with them and find them at a standstill with their rebuild. And here is my dining room, now is my bed. Nearly eight months later, life remains out of sorts for Sandra Garcia. Sad, because there's no, no my home complete. I first met Sandra and her son Renee at their Shelltown home in late January as their family mourned the loss of Sandra's 79-year-old husband, Juan. I feel overwhelmed and powerless, Sandra told me in the interview. This video shows the rain outside their family home on Osborne Street the day of the flood. That morning, a family member carried Juan out of the rising waters. As Juan was placed in the front passenger seat, I'm told the water was up to this level and the water was rushing in. Juan was diagnosed with pneumonia and pass away days later. All the time say, mm, good morning, puppy. Here's Renee speaking with me in March. It broke my heart. You know, to this day, it still breaks my heart. Amid the grief, the floods decimated the family home of more than two decades, sending six family members to hotels and relatives' homes. In total, more than $120,000 in damage and lost property. The family received about $25,000 from FEMA. Using that money and maxing out credit cards, the Garcias, with the help of volunteers, demoed and rebuilt several rooms before moving into those rooms a few months ago. But nearly eight months after the floods, the money has run out. The tops here, I need to put everything here. And the rebuild is stalled. Half of the kitchen remains unfinished, along with a bedroom. One of two bathrooms remains a mess after a contractor left the job. When the contractor took apart the wall and the flooring, a big problem. They discovered termites. The Garcias unable to cover the cost of termite treatment. And so they wait, a rebuild on pause. Some flood survivors have used the term adrift. Do you feel adrift? Yeah, I feel, I definitely feel adrift, man. I, I sometimes I, I, I feel like it's not even home yet. Inside that home, the still present flood damage inspires a flood of emotions. It's just a backflash of, of, of everything happening all over again. Throughout their painful journey, the family leans on their faith. You are a woman of faith. What do you pray for? I pray to God to straight. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. The Garcias are hoping for help from a fumigation company. A GoFundMe campaign has also been set up to help them with their rebuild. If you're interested in helping, there are links on the homepage of 10news.com.